Oh, hi friends. Pike here to tell you the recipe to my favorite delicacy in the entire world, the purple jewel cake of Marquette. But first, I'm gonna tell you the tale behind this tasty treat. There once lived a woman named Madame Marquita Parcata. She was very wealthy and she lived in a huge castle that overlooked the entire city of Marquette. She draped herself in purple velvets and wore dresses made of the finest silks. But she was very mean and very greedy. She was the wealthiest woman in Marquette, but it wasn't enough for her. And then one day, a little girl knocked on her door, and when Marquita answered, the girl said, I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, um, but I've traveled very far, and if I could just have some water and maybe a place to rest my head for the night, I would greatly appreciate it, and in return, I could give you a simple wish. Madame Parcata replied, I can give you water, but I have no room for you to rest. After the girl drank the water, she said, Thank you, ma'am. Now, what is it that you would like for your wish? Madame Parcata said, Well, I want to be worth all the money in the world. I, I want people to know of me and be in awe of all of my riches. The girl said, Okay, this I can do for you. And for giving me half of my request, I shall do the same for you. And then she said the words, Plimpy, Drimpy, Flompies, and Bompies. And in that moment, Marquita was turned to the most beautiful, sparkling purple jewel, as big as an apple, forever. But she got her wish. People from all over the world came to see the purple jewel of Marquette. So, be kind to one another. If someone asks for a helping hand, give it to them. And always be careful what you wish for. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you the recipe. Well, you can figure it out. That's all for now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, uh, fuck. <laughs> Hey, this is me, uh, Pike Trickfoot, and I'm kind of have a, a Jester Laura Bailey vibe. I don't know. It's going to be weird. And you can see I don't have fun buns, so so I've, I'm just going to put on headphones because I don't have fun buns. Okay, this is sort of fun buns. Anyway, this is a, a story that happened uh, a long time ago in a place I've never been. This is Pike Trickfoot, by the way. Oh, my God. Uh, in Marquette about a woman named Marquita Bacardi. Marquita Bacardi. Marquita Bacardi. <laughs> wow. Who, who lived in a, in a, in a big mansion. Uh, and she had everything that she ever wanted. And then one day, this mysterious urchin girl showed up at Marquita Bacardi's front door. And, and the Marquita Bacardi was, was like, ew, you're so gross. Oh my God. You're just dirty and terrible. And oh god, your fingernails are awful! And oh my god! And and um, uh, the the little urchin girl was like, "Please, I need f uh, food and water. The two things: food and water." Because uh, oh, I don't know why the urchin girl is kind of jester. Oh, I'm so hungry and I'm so thirsty. And Mar Marquita Bacardi was like, "Oh no, I don't know. You're gross and terrible. No, no." And and the little urchin girl was like, "I can I can grant you uh, a wish if you give me." Food and water, two things. Food and water. Marquita Bacardi thought about it and was like, "Okay, uh, I I have a lot of things. I have uh, wealth and I and I'm uh, beautiful, but I I want to be revered. I want people to revere me." And and she was like, "Okay." And, and the little Russian girl was like, "Yeah, I, I can do that." And and so Marquita Bacardi went out and got a little bit of water, but just like got a cup of it and just sort of like kind of poured it uh, down the little urchin girl's mouth to keeping distance and then uh, uh, says alright where's my wish and then the said, said Marquita Bacardi and the little urchin girl <laughs> said well you only granted half of my wish so I'm only going to grant half of yours and she transformed Marquita Bacardi into a gemstone uh, which 
was very revered, but obviously was not nearly as much fun as Marquita Bacardi was hoping for. And at some point, she may have turned into a pair of jeans or an apple. I'm not sure. And apparently that's Matt or Marisha's fault, although it could be Sam's fault. I, I feel like somebody there, Sam, Sam's kind of been an agent of chaos, so I'm, I'm putting it there. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the story of Marquita Bacardi of Marquette. Uh, wow. 